When you hear a word equality, what do you feel or what do you think? What does it mean to you? Mm -hmm. On my side, equality means like when you have a right, mm -hmm. like when you have a right, mm -hmm. and you can you can feel that right. Gender equality is important because we need to balance boys and girls so that we can get equal opportunities. It means a lot to be a girl in Uganda because it makes me feel proud. And, and I get to know how a girl can behave. A girl can behave well, not as a boy. Uh, El Camio help girls to achieve their dreams through uh, teaching them different things and also teach us how to behave. You have to, in whatever situation, you have to work for something that you want. Many people in Uganda don't believe that girls can participate in sports. If an academy like a Cambio comes and they give girls opportunities, it, will, it is very good to show people that even girls can participate in all sorts of sports. Because now, when we are at home, the girls are silenced because the parents think that there is no future in sports for girls. But if El Cambio comes and say we are going to help a girl child to develop their talents, it shows the, 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 the country that even girls can, can participate in sports and they can, be, they can excel. But if you are not in El Cambio, in those other parts of Uganda, they don't see any future in sports. So El Cambio, El Cambio has brought this to show the nation that even girls have the ability to, to participate in sports and they have the talent because girls are there, they have talents. So it is very good to, to, to bring those talents out instead of silencing them, thinking that I'm not going anywhere with this, this talent. So it is very nice for the Ugandans to have a cambio so that it can help girls develop their talents. Number question three. Question three. Both players are in but Ronaldo is very rich. Both players. Number seven. Two. 
Nchukia mkwa kwa 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 I started El Cambio Academy because I think there's a huge need for support uh, for kids in Africa and in general in the world. Um, and I'm blessed to be brought up in Denmark, in Europe, and I feel like it is something that I need to do. So I decided some years back that I want to invest my whole life in supporting kids that doesn't have the chance that we have in Europe. The girls' program started in 2021. In January, we uh, were around the whole of the country of Uganda to find and spot those talents. And we ended up having 15 girls for tryouts and five of them were selected. El Cambio has helped girls like me because I have got this opportunity to come here to El Cambio and I have got that challenge to being boys and playing in boys. Uh, it makes me feel good because it improves my physical. It helps God to achieve their dreams because they are advised to work hard and to stay pushing uh, even if it refuses. You need to persist. El Cambio helps girls to achieve their dreams by helping them so that they can, pushing them hard so that they can fulfill their dreams and telling them not to undermine their, themselves that they can't do something a boy can do. On football side, for me it's important because uh, it helps me to fulfill my dreams and on education it's good because it's easy to reach your goals when, when you have educated and you have finished your studies. So, like the I feel proud because many Ugandan girls are not playing football and I am proud to be a girl and play football. We study character sessions and they tell us more about girls and we have one value of giving back and if you know something you have to you don't just remain it with, with yourself, you have to, to spread it out so that everyone can grow.
welcome you has helped me uh, with my education and also my language. My favorite thing about El Cambio are uh, the playing style at the pitch and also how they can respect each other and also the, the boys, they love us and also the girls, we love them. What makes me happy it's it's that I'm a girl and I'm playing football. Being a girl at El Cambio it means it means good because here at El Cambio girls are not separated from the boys but they take us the same way. Makes me feel good because through that way they are showing me that we are the same family. I like El Candio because of its three things, which is education, football and character. So here at El Cambio, we balance, no matter you're a girl or a boy, you need to be good in education, character, plus football. Not only football, but you have to balance the three of them. If you, you have, like in most schools, if you have like her hair, There's one thing at El Cambio that is so important. Most people think about El Cambio as a football academy, and yes it is. But we are a charity, and we making sure that education is just as important. But on top of all of that, we have a character program. And the character program makes sure that all these girls, they have like a self-worth, knowing what they can do and how to achieve it, but also while doing it, thinking of others. So for me, El Cambio Academy is all about giving back because we want to make it a huge change. We don't just make a change for 5, 10, 20, 40 girls. We want to make a change for a lot of girls in within the country of Uganda. To do so, we need to nurture them to become future African leaders so that in 10, 20, 30 years, they might become a president. They might become a chairman or they become whatever they feel like, politicians and making huge influence so that we can really make a big change.
If I study hard and play football hard and I go to America or be a professional footballer, I will help my family back and my community. Our girls uh, are in this program for uh, like a five or six year period of time. They come in when they're nine and then they're supposed to leave us when they're 15. Most of our girls will leave us for America for further studies for high schools. They will get um, enrolled for four years free scholarship in America. And for them it is always important to, to maintain and to, to stay true to their culture where they are from in Africa, but at the same time adapt to new cultures, being European or American, going that side, educate themselves while playing football. And after some good years in America, of course we hope for them that we, they reach their goals and one of our goals at El Cambio would be for our girls to remember where they're from, to give back to the societies and friends and families that left them uh, back in the days so that they can feel that they are giving back with all of their knowledge and network inspiration to make change in Uganda. So my big dream is not necessarily for our kids, girls to go to America, but for them to come back and invest in the youth of the new generation in Uganda. Our girls are from different places across Uganda. Some of them are from the slums. Some of them had a really troublesome upbringing. It hasn't been easy at all. Uh, others, they come from the countryside where you could say it's less of a hustle, but still from poverty. So they all need a helping hand. And um, I believe that El Cambio right now is doing just that. Yeah, 
Uh, my life back home, it is good because uh, I live in uh, a good health condition and also uh, also my siblings, all my sisters and brothers, they also care after me and also my parents, they love me and also I love them. I like to be with them near and also uh, like to be in a good life. I live with my both parents. I love them and they respect me. I respect them and also my siblings. <laughs> You are welcome. Welcome back. But I thank you for keeping Martha. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. I've appreciated. Yeah. God is great. She's back at home. Hi. Patricia. That is a Patricia. Okay. This one looks like an invitation card. I'm so great. I'm so happy. Nothing I can tell you, but I just pray to God that you continue with the spirit and the service you are. And then to our children who are developing their talents. You never know from her she can bring she can become another person who will be useful to the nation and the family and to the what? To the El Kamjo, let me say. Eh? So I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased to have you people here. I thank God. For the wonderful thing, yes, God. thank you for caring for them. I'm so grateful. You send us her pictures for the birthday celebrations. We are so grateful for that. Thank you for the service. Thank you for the education you are giving her. Thank you because we we are in the time which is not good, like for COVID season. She has changed each and everything. Because me, I'm a hotelian, but as it came in, I'm down now. Because now the business, uh, yeah. But I thank you for everything. I thank you. Nothing I can say, but I'm talking this from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful, I'm so pleased, I'm so very grateful to see my daughter is back and you people, thank you for the responsibility you've shown to us and the service you've given to my child. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. Nothing I can say but thank you every, for everything. When you go back, you tell even those people, the matrons, the cooks, because I know all the supporting staff you have, you send my regards to them, that mother's mommy has appreciated for everything we've done to her daughter and her life up to date.
at home and I have I have six brothers and three of them sleep at home and three others don't sleep at home. I want to go back home to to have fun with my brother and also to get um Good time with my family. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Happy to see you. But now getting a key and saying so bad about you. I will fish. What you said, they were My mother. Um, I said so bad about My mother is a businesswoman. And my father is. is a. Uh, a uh, builder, he, he constructs houses. I'm, I feel good. Yeah. And she's also happy, I'm also happy.
Sinyo. 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 I live in Kampala and I live with both my mom and dad so and my three siblings so if I go back home I always have good time with them <laughs> The life at home, it's really good. My father is a bike rider and my mother buys and sells bananas. Yeah. Uh, you're the second, 
She is very, very grateful. 100% very, very grateful. Thank you for caring for me. She is looking so beautiful. And thank you so much that you are contributing on her studies. And thank you so much, so, 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 so much. Yeah. Hello. 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 This is the father of me. Oh. My father. Yes. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I am so grateful. Thank you for caring for us. That for us, we are there at the family and we are studying. But these ones here, they are not studying. And for that, we thank you for coming. She's so so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming. Even you guys, if, if you have any questions to ask, you are free.
I live in Jinja, and it's where the source of Ribanel is found. Uh, we go there at home. We do so many work because we need to be strong. I feel so, so happy, happy, happier. <laughs> I feel so, so happy because I am with my families and uh, I, am going, I am going to have a good time with my sisters and brothers and that's good for me. I feel so, so proud. So, what are you hoping to do with them, teaching them? I will, I will teach them some skills mm -hmm. and freestyle. Okay, good. Question. So what if I'm not yeah. So good question. So if you are you are going to teach skills but they are I've had one brother saying that he's not a bowler. So how are you going to teach him? I'll teach him some new dances. <laughs> what about in character, anything you can teach, share with them because character can can gather all of them. Bowlers and also can Yes. Yes. And think about any time. Oh, 
Ndiyo cha mama. Holy Bulunji. karibu. Nandange, akana kange mama. Akana kange mama pesh. Karibu muingire. Nandange mama. Mukama nga mulungi. Jisa siwe vale. Mukama oli mulungi. Mama we vale. Oh, oli neti wange mama. Oli neti. Pes. Karibu. Muingire. Mulungi mulimutia karibu. Panange karibu. Nsaiso kubalaba. Panange muingire. Thomas ya lirudawa. Thank you very much. Thank you dear. My parents live in Kampala. Sometimes they can be servants in some hotels and sometimes in bars. Back home, sometimes my parents do not allow me to play football every time by day. And even my community, it expect me to be home doing work but sometimes even my parents they can push me so that I can I can go at the pitch and improve and improve on myself I feel good because I'm back to my family.
how do you feel being at El Cambio with, with these five girls? How is it? Uh, me, I feel good because uh, <laughs> these friends, they are like a family to me and they help me in different ways. Okay, what else? To me, it's good because these four girls always push me to work hard in football. Okay. And also me, they help me to do the right thing at the right time. And me, they help me whenever I get some, they help me to solve any problem when, whenever I get it. And me, I feel good because we are each other's friends and we are like a family. The most important thing for El Cambio and the girls is not necessarily the education and the football. It is that they have eight years here at El Cambio where they feel like this is a safe upbringing, a place where they learn, where they can express themselves. And whenever they become old, they look back at these eight, nine years at El Cambio where they say, this was a really good place to grow up. I learned a lot, I was taken care of. And of course, they taught me a lot of values so that I've been taking them throughout my life. And I might end up in football, in education, in America, or maybe I stay in Uganda, but what I was taught as a person on the pitch and in the classroom is something that I really benefit from now. This is the most important thing for me, that they can look back at El Cambio and say, this was a really nice place to be. Here we don't look at them in a team, we look at them on a personal level. So El Cambio helps them to understand their worth, to understand that they, they mean a lot. Because when, when we grow up, mostly here, we don't see the worth of living. But in El Cambio, everything changes. You feel like you're a human being, you can be listened to, you can contribute, you can advise on this edge. So it is very good that El Cambio does, does it to these girls and boys, you know? Because if they feel like they are worthy, they are going to do everything with passion and hoping that everything is going to be good.